yet. I wasn't done yet. You know, I don't care if I don't get a lot of views. I just want people to listen, at least for once. Listen to the entire thing. Listen to what I have to say on this Amanda. I don't care if you don't like the other videos that I've made in the past. Just listen to this. Now, well, in the previous video, I was talking about how black feminists, like Amanda, and the rest of them, rarely talk about black boys. In the rare rarity that they do talk about black boys and black masculinity, they, you know, you have to take in consider consideration that you know a man is a is a rebel. Um, and so you know because she's bisexual, she doesn't believe in gender roles. She's a rebel. And hence, really, she's only speaking up and acting wild because she's a biracial who gets who's called nigger by white folks every day. Yeah, um, you know, I'm pretty sure you know, but you know, let me not get into that. But you know, like I said, in the rarity that they that black men just talk about black men, or black masculinity, they will champion and support faggotry such as the uselessness of uh, the foolishness I mean of Jaden Smith wearing that dress for uh, Louis Vuitton uh, I, I, I could have sworn that Louis Vuitton was one of those uh, bougie brands that don't like black folks wearing this shit but you know Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm talking about something else, but I'm pretty sure they're one of them. Um, Ebony, I believe, yeah, Huffington Post entertained the idea that, um, that Jaden Smith is not destroying or not damaging black masculinity, but instead he's rewriting it, he's redefining it as this um, ambiguous uh, feeling that men can wear dresses and they can bend the gender norms and they can wear dresses and skirts and still be a man and they go into this like most feminists they go into the intrinsics of you know of redefining what it means to be a man and masculinity and shit like that um And you know they'll 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 trophy this, and you know the funny thing about you know women and I and I tell women, you know all the time that if you're gonna promote homosexuality, especially amongst men, black men, do not be mad when they're not builders. Don't be mad when they're not motivated to fight for you or protect you when you're down and out or beaten by white supremacy. Don't get mad. Don't get mad when you don't have a pedestal to stand on when you're looking pretty and you're rocking your natural hair. Don't get mad. Because your boys will be more worried about having sexual access with somebody who's white than worrying about multi-generational wealth, patriarchy, establishing order in the black community. So you, know, you see, you know, and that's why I'm, I'm very hypocritical. And I'm very critical in, you know, black women to stop entertaining bullshit. You know, Jaden Smith is not no fucking man. He's a boy. A confused boy at that. Yeah, I know he's dating, I, I believe he's still dating this white girl. I don't know her name, but, um... You know, it's, it's, and that, that's really a good thing, because I'm glad that he doesn't have a black woman, because I, I, I can't imagine a black woman entertaining that shit. And it's kind of, it's, it's kind of sad when you see Jane Smith, because a lot of black people idolize two-parent households as the, the perfect archetype, you know, for a successful family. You know, you're leaving groundwork, you're, you're leaving a patriot, you're leaving a legacy. And it's very sad to when you see this happen to a two-parent household, two two very beloved actors, two beloved uh, actors, and you're seeing this kind of just drizzle away. You're, you're seeing this, 
to the, you know, you're, you're seeing him become wasted. Worrying about sexual access. Worrying about feel goodery and and making sure your penis is wagging down and you know you have something somewhere to put it in. Um, black masculinity does not need to be defined. It will not be redefined. Uh, black masculinity will not be rewritten by homosexuals or women. Granted, you know. We, we already know the basics of, you know, men should provide for their family, take care of their wives, lay the groundwork and the foundation. That's a given. What we will not entertain is men wearing dresses, being suspect, and being carefree. And the Huffington Post was broadcasting this and promoting this foolishness of a carefree black boy. Black men do not have no goddamn luxury of being care free that's time I checked black boys don't get justice for being gunned down just ask Trayvon Martin or Mike Brown you know ask you know ask Zeba Blay the main black boys writer for Huffington Post you know how how being care free didn't benefit them Mike Brown or Trayvon. Black boys don't have that luxury to not give a damn about how they look or how they present themselves. Black boys must always be in alert that they can be gunned down at any given time, at any given place. They have no luxuries. We shouldn't even be playing around. Carefree black boys. In this goddamn time, in this, in this age of white supremacy, you know, I, I can hear this from, uh, 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 I see, I seen them, you know, write all the quotes about carefree black girls. And, you know, you, you know, let let black girls be, you know, a little dim-witted or, you know, not saying that they're stupid. But let, let the few that want to be ignorant entertain the foolishness of a post-racial uh, black, uh, post-racial society, a one-race society. You know, let them entertain that shit. And, you know, let let girls worry about what's on TV rather than what's on the news. Um, you know, I, I can I can imagine people writing articles about how girls shouldn't worry about the negatives in life. But um, for this to be written and people to be pro- promoting a carefree black boy, what the hell is this? You know, we, we don't have that luxury. Especially when there's no patriarchy. Black boys have no business lag lollygagging or playing Xbox all day or not thinking about shit. You know? We, we don't have that luxury, but I'll, I'll end this here and I'll make another part to my video.